way. Well, there's a lot of progress in the cleanup, but you can see there's a lot of damage that has been done. This was once the back deck of a family's home. Some of it's here, some of it's a half mile away. Some of it they may never find again. And some people are just now trying to assess what kind of damage they really do have. It was a tornado powerful enough to leave a long trail of destruction. Stuff flying everywhere. And to have people looking at different meanings in the term act of God. Took a lot of the trees and some of the house, and uh, but it spared the, the family. You know, the good Lord watched over us uh, and protected us. Wayne Gross was thankful, even though he took a direct hit. Friends and family came to help him unwind the damage of the tornado. Just glad to be in one piece, and we'll, this, this is not anything we can't handle. Uh, this is nothing compared to what other people are going through right now. About a dozen homes were hit. Some had extensive damage. Directional arrows of debris shot right through Jerry Millian's place. Then, as you can see, it the uh, used to be the patio here stuck through the wall of the house. As he followed the footsteps of destruction, he found some of that same patio about a half mile away as the bird flies and the debris. Now there's an urgency in all of this as well because a lot of people are trying to get tarps up, fix these holes in the roof before the next rain comes because they don't want to lose any more than they already have. Brian Hamrick, WLWT.